Hello kids, Patrick Livingston of EasyAnimalsToDraw.com and today we're going to be drawing this animal. The Poodle, which believe it or not is another dog that originated in Germany, even though it's the French national dog. Originated in Germany as a, a duck hunting dog, a duck dog. And the French call it, the French don't call it a poodle, they call it a caniche which is duck dog, means duck dog. Okay, so we're drawing in the first circle for the hips. It's quite a small circle compared to the, a remarkably small circle compared to the circle for the chest and shoulders because of the, the way the poodle's hair is trimmed. Now, this originally was done so that the dog could swim well to retrieve ducks, at the same time having the, the fur protecting the, keeping the animal warm. If you've ever wondered why a poodle's hair is cut in the way it's cut. So because of that, the circle for the head is quite large as well. Very unusual dog in the way that its, it's, it's coat is uh, trimmed. Again, it's not critical to have the circle perfect. Much more important that it's the right size and in the right place because it's a drawing guide that we're going to rub out at the end. So it's only temporary, but incredibly useful to have a drawing guide. Tremendous help in drawing our poodle. So do try and get it correct. If you feel you've made a mistake, don't hesitate to, to rub it out and redo it. And joining the circle for the head and for the shoulders to the circle for the hips. Now the hind legs. As you can see, I'm following my own advice because I made a mistake there. The positioning of the, the rear legs. It's easier to correct mistakes at the beginning of a drawing than at the end. Two very simple straight lines at the front for the front legs. The rounded tufts on the legs, hips and tail of a poodle are called pompons, as opposed to the pompons that cheerleaders have. Poodles have pompons. Okay, so now time for the drawing and starting with the eye. Relatively small eyes compared to some other dogs. Poodles are highly intelligent dogs. Possibly one of the most intelligent of all the dog breeds. It began its development as a retrieving water dog more than 400 years ago in Germany. Today, I, people associated with France because it became so popular in Paris. You can see I've drawn in the what looks almost like a fluffy berry on the head of the poodle. This, this was done for very practical reasons, this kind of cut. It 
Hunters wanted their dogs to have a free range of movement in the water, but they also wished to protect the vital areas of the anatomy from the cold. So they shaved the legs and the neck and the tail, but left the chest, hips and leg joints coated. Now we're using a jagged line. Use a jagged line to indicate the fluffiness of the cut of the coat. Personally, I always assumed that the poodle was bred to look decorative and didn't actually have a real function. So I was quite surprised to find out that it was, in effect, a German water dog to begin with. You can see the, the, pon, the pompons. P O M P O N S, pom poms. On the, on the front front legs, the bottom of the front legs, just above the paws. Much better to correct your mistakes at this stage of the drawing before you start the shading. Remember that the video is speeded up to twice normal speed, so don't forget to pause the video at any time when you're doing your, when you're drawing your own poodle. Now the, the rear leg pompons. And the rear paws, not forgetting the claws. Paws and claws. There are three sizes of poodles. Standard, miniature and toy. The toy was first bred in America in the early 20th century as a city-dwelling companion dog. But they all look the same, just different sizes. And to add to all its qualities as a, a water dog and a highly intelligent dog, they have excellent an excellent nose and were heavily employed as truffle hunters. The truffle is a kind of fungus which you often find at the feet of oak trees. Sometimes people use pigs to sniff out truffles. My favourite part of the drawing now, removing the guide, leaving just the drawing. And as always, it's inevitable that you're going to rub out some of the, the drawing. It's just, just part of life. And it, you shouldn't worry at all about that. 
generally there will be a trace of the, ori of the original drawing and uh, you can just go back in and draw it in a little bit more heavily, redraw it. I always feel that the drawing becomes liberated from its scaffolding, from the the drawing guide scaffolding. The name Poodle comes from a German word, Puddlin, which refers to splashing about in water. And some of you will have already noticed the association with Puddlin and our English word Puddle, because many words in the English language come from Anglo Saxon, which is the Anglo-Saxons were German tribes that came to England a long time ago and they brought their language which formed the basis of English and uh, so a poodle is in effect is in effect a puddle dog because it likes splashing about in water I'm just restating the pom-poms and now time for the shading. Short little jagged strokes to indicate the uh, fluffiness of the coat. And now the shape of the the shorn part of the tail. So you can see now I'm shading in the part of the animal that's shorn, which that is all its hair removed, to give it mobility in the water. And as usual, the area under the body, the foreleg, is quite dark at the top because it's in shadow. Indicating the fluffiness of the pom poms. And giving them a little bit of a little bit of three dimensionality. Now the shorn forelegs. I don't know how often you have to take your poodle to the to have its coat shaved. Some of you out there with who own poodles will have a better idea of that than me. But I wonder how many of you knew that it was originally a, a German water dog. Like splashing, like splashing about in puddles. You can leave your 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 answer in the comments to 
that question. And don't forget that you can you can download a drawing guide for the poodle, as you can for all the other animals, over at easyanimalstodraw.com. Just Google it. easyanimalstodraw.com slash poodle I'm indicating the the farther the farther ear quite amazing ears of course the ear itself is not that big. It's mostly the, the hair coming off the ear. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And if you have anything, to, any comments to make in the comment section, There we go. There's your finished poodle. I hope you enjoyed watching and until the next time, goodbye.